Here are 7 easy and fun platinum trophies, including a few bonus ones for both new and experienced trophy hunters. First up, we have a really quick, fun and simple game called Battlefield 2042. The latest Battlefield is super fun. No, just kidding. Please don't ever play that game. Please. No, starting off, we have Life is Strange. Whichever of the four Life is Strange games you choose, you're bound to be in for an easy ride. Life is Strange puts you into an emotional, choice-driven story. You'll play as a young character and have to make your way through the story to solve various mysteries with many twists and turns, sometimes with some sort of superpower. All you have to do for the Platinum is finish the story and find the collectibles. And thankfully, there aren't any missables, neither story or collectibles, as everything can be obtained via chapter select. I've personally Platinum two of these games, but I do have to admit that I'm not the biggest fan of this series. Life is Strange, I never want to play a Life is Strange game again. It's so ridiculously cringy in my opinion. Yeah, for me, they just scream like teenage girl vibes or something. It's not terrible by any means, and it has an easy platinum, but it's not exactly my favorite kind of story. However, a story that I found much more interesting was that of The Order 1886. Set in the neo-Victorian era of London in 1886, this game is really cool. I mean, just look at this. With only an expected time to platinum of around 10 hours and a difficulty of 3 out of 10, this game is a cakewalk. The requirements are to finish the story on any difficulty, find the collectibles and do a few simple miscellaneous trophies. I do recommend you do two playthroughs and go in blind in the first one just as I did, unless you want to follow a collectible guide during your first playthrough. Because the story, although a little confusing towards the end in my opinion, is definitely worth experiencing naturally. Just enjoy this funky story for what it is, and enjoy the gameplay for this sort of forgotten PlayStation game. If you're not looking for a linear story game, then look no further than the gorgeous open world of Horizon. No matter which of the two games you decide to play, you're going to be sucked into this breathtaking world that is a lot of fun to explore. I personally really like the story in the first game, but the world more in the second. And as I said, either of these games are great. However, I do recommend starting with Zero Dawn, as that is the first, and Forbidden West is the sequel. They are both a lot longer than the previous two games mentioned on the list, coming in at an expected time to platinum of around 40 hours each, which can be extended by another 20 hours if you choose to do the DLC. There's a few challenging trophies in here, mostly combat related, but honestly nothing too difficult and you should be able to get them within a few tries as they are just at the fun but challenging level of difficulty. Make sure to take in the beautiful and gorgeous scenery on your way to the Platinum and enjoy this magnificent robot dinosaur game. If you want something a little less serious, and maybe even a major nostalgic throwback, why not try the Destroy All Humans remakes? Because these two games are just silly, goofy fun. I mean, you play as an alien invading Earth, able to destroy anything and everything in its path. I will say again that I did enjoy the first game much more than the second, but you have to know that these games can really show their age in the gameplay loop. Not always necessarily in a bad way, but sometimes a little annoying with the pacing of cutscenes in gameplay. You can easily platinum each game in about 15 hours or so, and you won't have to worry about missables or any of such things. There are obviously collectibles, as there are in every single game, but playing in this Cold War era of America and the rest of the world should provide a few laughs and shouldn't be too much of a hassle whilst playing as Crypto the Alien in his flying saucer. Staying in the nostalgia sphere, I highly recommend going for Killzone Liberation, which is a super easy and short platinum. This is a port from the original PSP version back from 2006, and it was such a throwback for me. I seriously loved every moment of it. Because it's super short and only expected to take less than 8 hours, you should have no trouble with getting through this. And especially because you can use the rewind feature, which honestly makes this joke just because of how easy it becomes. Like you can simply rewind if you die or mess up, like what is there to lose? The story is nothing special in my eyes, and the top down PSP like gameplay isn't great, but it is really fun to just play around with for a few hours and get a platinum trophy in return. Moving on, next up we have Bug Snacks. Yeah, I mean, Bug Snacks is a low key, really fun game. It's definitely a little weird and maybe even a little uncomfortable for some, but this PS5 launch game is yet another super easy platinum. Again, all this requires you to do is finish the traumatizing story and do the collectible trophies. With just a 2 out of 10 difficulty rating and a time to platinum of less than 15 hours, this is another easy but fun platinum trophy to collect. It was actually one of my first PS5 platinums, and I recently went back to get the 100% and its DLC trophies. And that only took me about 5 hours, so if you want to extend your playtime with the game, then the DLC is a great way to get some extra trophies in return. And you may want to check if you claimed this PlayStation Plus game back when it launched in November 
December of 2020, because then you really don't have any excuse to not get this Platinum. Alright, but before we move on to the last game, let's quickly go over three games that just didn't make the list, but are still very fun and easy nonetheless. That first game being Plague Tale. I've only played the first game, but I am so excited to check out the sequel sometime soon. Because when I first played this game, it seriously surprised me in how good it was. It has a phenomenal story and super simple gameplay to follow it up. The incredible soundtrack also adds to the immersion and storytelling in this game, which should only take around 15 hours to platinum. Though that does depend on how much you need to go back and find the collectibles through chapter select. You will, however, need to keep two missable trophies in mind if you want to avoid a second playthrough, but they're nothing too difficult, so you shouldn't have too much trouble with them. This game will surprise you just like it did me, and if you're going for this platinum, I want to wish you the best of luck fighting off the rats and the French Inquisition troops on your way to the Platinum Trophy. Another game that just didn't make the list is a little bit of a different one with Concrete Genie, a much more lighthearted and cute game compared to the last one that is obviously extremely easy to Platinum. Not only is this game visually super pretty, but it also has a neat story connected to it inside of the world. The art in this world makes an 8 hour Platinum an unforgettable experience to say the least. It's just so pretty to look at all these neon paintings and slowly fill the world with your personal personal art creations, and with the usual trophy loop of finish the story and find the collectibles, with no missable trophies, this is a great game to quickly platinum without being something embarrassing like those jump and stroke games. But if you do want something easy but also spend a little more time with it, then look no further than the Assassin's Creed franchise. And I know what you're thinking, oh my god, Assassin's Creed 50 hour grindy platinums, because yes, the latest few iterations of this series will take you upwards of 50 hours to platinum. They are never difficult by any means, unless you play on the hardest difficulty, of course. However, I won't deny and will admit that they can be quite the grind. You'll have to play through the story and find lots and lots of collectibles. Like, I mean, seriously, lots of collectibles and side quests. But unless you are playing on one of the highest difficulties, you should be able to enjoy the story and gameplay loop of doing quests and exploring ancient lands. These worlds are always beautiful and sometimes teach you a lot about the history of these eras. They are really cool, interesting and educational to learn about. Just know that this can take quite a while before you unlock that platinum trophy, but if you are playing on one of the lower difficulties, this can be a game that is just super simple and relaxing to go for. But if you do not have the patience for that, which is understandable, this next game is one that you really should check out. And that very unique game being Hellblade's Senua's Sacrifice. There's really nothing that you can compare this game to. It's a beautiful linear story where you face many challenges that often represents a mental psychosis. So just be aware that this is not for the weak. Aside from one collectible trophy, the rest is all tied to the story. However, if you do want to avoid playing a second playthrough and going through the 8 hour story again, you may have to keep an eye out for the lore stone collectibles along the way. It's what I did, but I'm not too happy with that decision as it distracted me from the story. But the reason for that was because the game says if you die, you restart from the beginning. And skip ahead 10 seconds if you don't want any more information about that. But what they say isn't actually the case, because there is no such case as dying and restarting from the beginning. It's a fear and a hoax created by the devs and is only there to haunt you mentally. But it's a phenomenal way to go about it and it definitely added to my stress, I won't deny. Hellblade is a must play game for all the Xbox achievement hunters among us, especially if you decide on getting all achievements in Hellblade 2, which is launching on Xbox later this year. Let me know what other fun and easy games you suggest in a comment under the like button, but for now, that's it. See ya.